Stanislaw here with Motion VFX, and in this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to use the new exciting M Title Abstract Collection. Let's take a look. Once installed, you can find M Title Abstract Presets inside the Title Templates tab of Final Cut Pro. Then click M Title Abstract. Hover over your templates to preview them, and click and drag them into your timeline to use them in your project. While all the templates are specially designed, you'll likely want to make some changes to the different text and elements inside them. To do so, customize them using the controls inside the inspector. One of the most common items to change is the position, rotation, and scale. We can also use the on-screen control to make these same changes. By default, all the templates have their animation in and out checked and enabled. By disabling these, no build-in or build-out animation will happen, meaning that it will play until the final frame of the template on your timeline. Using the controls inside the inspector, we can change and modify our text properties and even change the color by clicking in the color well and choosing a new color. There's also specific controls for outline and face fills. For advanced users, there's even ways to create keyframes to further manipulate your animation inside Final Cut Pro. Let's take a look at another example. I'll start with dragging a template into my project and then dragging the edge of it to set a new duration. Inside the inspector, I'll change my text. Due to the way that changing the duration of templates works in Final Cut, we have an animation speed control in which we can control the speed of the build-in and build-out animations. Near the bottom of the inspector are background controls. This lets you change the color or completely remove the background if you'd wish. To remove the background, drag the opacity down to zero. Let's make this a bit more interesting and add some frames. In addition to the different title templates included are different abstract frame templates. These can be used independently or combined with different templates. The controls for the frames are similar to the other templates, however you're going to notice there's not an on-screen control, and that's because it's already a full-screen title template. Let's add another frame and talk about a possible issue you may run into. Because the different title templates and frames will have a background, I can see that I've clipped off some of my layers inside my project. To keep my title templates but still use this background, I'll drag this layer and place it only above my video clip. This way that frame is only cropping that bottom video layer. Next I'll continue to modify my text. And now I've created a promo for my fictional band Epic Panic and their new release Pretty Late Machine. Let's take a look at one more example for review. I'll place another frame into my template and adjust my duration. Inside the inspector, I'll disable my animation out and change my text items. Next, I'll choose a title template and use this as the title of my online production. I already have a video for my background, so I'll turn the background opacity down to zero and make the changes to my text. Before we wrap up, there's one more feature I wanted to talk about in these title templates, and that's the prism effect. Inside the inspector, we have controls for our prism and the amount and angle. We can use this to create chromatic aberration and make some interesting looks. With just a couple templates from the M Title Abstract Pack, in a few clicks, I've now created an opening for my online video vlog. For more information about M-Title Abstract and other great plugins and tutorials, be sure to subscribe. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you next time.